My name is Jack Philippe. I'm with the College of New Jersey's Biomedical Engineering Department, and this is what I did this summer to research the effect of galactic cosmic radiation on bone microstructural strength. So to begin, a little background on the subject. Uh, with deep space travel as one of NASA's long-term goals, it's necessary that the scientific community understand the hidden dangers of life outside of Earth's atmosphere. Uh, one of these includes galactic cosmic radiation, which is the primary form of radiation that our astronauts will encounter constantly when outside of the atmosphere. Um, when galactic cosmic radiation passes through the bones, it has a chance to change the composition of the bone and possibly weaken them. Um, the goal of this study is to determine the effect of galactic cosmic, cosmic radiation on the structural strength of bone. To do this, uh, Long Evans rats were exposed to protracted radiation and controls were given sham treatment. These, the hind limbs of these rats were then extracted and scanned with an 8 micrometer resolution CT scan. Uh, the DICOM images from these scans were then imported into MIMICS, rotated and re-sliced along the anatomical axis, and sent into Abacus software, where they were then applied a 12 micrometer downward displacement, which equates to a 0.5% displacement of the overall length of the segment. With this, we were able to find the reaction forces and gather the data. From this data, it was determined that there is no statistical significance in bone volume or stiffness between control and sham or between sexes. Uh, in addition, there was no statistical significance in structural efficiency. However, there was a trend between sexes. Um, so to conclude this study, we concluded that Exposure to protracted radiation over 90 days does not significantly affect volume, stiffness, or structural efficiency. However, this study was limited by the number of rats that we used because this was a preliminary cohort. So to fix this in the future, we would examine and reanalyze with the entire cohort. Uh, other limitations include that we did not use the actual material properties of each bone. Instead, we used the nominal 10 gigapascal Young's modulus and 0.3 Poisson's ratio for each bone. To fix this in the future, we would use the actual material properties, which would be found by micro indentation and other methods. Uh, lastly, future work for this study will be done by examining protracted and acute radiation at a 90 day period, as well as acute and radiation and acute and protracted radiation at longer lengths of time. So that's what I did this summer and thank you.